is Aideen and welcome to Hopalong Studio. In today's video, I want to share with you how to print with tissue paper. And tissue paper might seem like a simple medium to print on, but there's a few things to consider when you are working with tissue paper to make sure that you get great results. So first of all, let's talk about the tissue paper that I'll be using today. I have both just regular white tissue paper. Uh, this is more of an archival tissue paper I got from the art store and just your regular blue tissue paper that you find at the dollar store. And one thing I've realized is that the quality of them is a little bit different and you'll see that kind of as we print. So if my background looks a little dirty, it's because I have my my protective sheet down on my surface. This is eventually going to be collage paper so if you're ever jelly printing and you want to be able to use your off prints or cleaning of your brayer for collage just put down a thick piece of paper I think this is some sort of pastel paper and it works really well for protecting your surface and giving you something new to print off of so when you are printing with your jelly plate one thing to think about when you're using tissue is how contrasty a pattern do you want do you want to add some very subtle texture and call it done or do you want really bold textures because that's going to change basically how you're going to print on your plate so I'm going to first show you something that's a little bit more subtle so I'm going to just throw some string on here and because I'm not leaving the string on the string on is actually really cool it doesn't work quite as well with tissue so I'm just adding the string on and taking it off I'm going to add in a few swipes with my texture tool I'm going to stamp on with the stamp and take off. So you'll notice this isn't super contrasty. This is more just general texture on your plate. And so then when you take your tissue paper to print with this you want to cover your surface and what you'll notice is that the tissue paper will tend to wrinkle especially if you have spots on it like I do that have been folded. So I usually try to put it on from bottom to top or top to bottom. Try to remove as many of the wrinkles as possible. And so you can see with this one, you have mostly solid color. You have a few of those white spots showing through so that when you collage this, it will be mostly solid on your page because of how much paint we've added to the surface. And if you do want to try to take a second print, one thing you need to be very careful about when you take that second print is that it will want to tear the tissue paper. And I find that I sometimes get mixed results with this. So I just put it down very gently. I don't press too hard. And now what you want to do is you want to pull it, but you want to pull it very gently. And I find find that pulling it across like this very close to the surface prevents it from tearing because the jelly plate is meant to have paint stick to it, it means that sometimes it will grab the tissue and it will tear it. As long as you're very careful, you can sometimes get that second print. And this one's really interesting because you can have those clear areas that are gonna melt away and you're gonna have a lot of interesting texture on your project. So if you want both spaces and want white space on your jelly prints, I would suggest putting down your stencil first. I'm just gonna get rid of some of this green paint that's on my surface since I have some areas of the stencil that will look nice and green. And you can just add the paint directly to your jelly plate. And I just want some green everywhere. A little bit of paint, some areas, and we're just going to move some of the stuff around. And add in a little bit of sky blue as well. So I wanted to have a few more colors in here. I'm trying not to make this so one or the other colors. I'm just trying to have a little bit of having the flower stick out, but not have it be too green and pink. So you'll notice there's a lot of white areas and areas without paint on the surface. So I'm going to go very gently over the tissue paper. It wrinkled a bit more than I wanted it to and that's okay. Uh, it still works really well even with some of the wrinkles. And very carefully pull this away. And so if you're looking for a really nice layer to maybe go on top of some other textures in your journal, this is a really great technique because all of the white will basically disappear and you'll be left with just that beautiful paint layer. Another way you can do this is you can start with a very thin layer of paint just on your surface to start with. And this one I would just make it all one color. With jelly printing with this type of technique, I would definitely add a little bit more paint than you usually would with paper ones just because of the fact that the tissue is so delicate and likes to stick to the jelly plate. The last thing you want to do is tear your tissue paper. So I'm going to throw in another stencil and now I'm going to add color on top. So again this one's going to be a little bit more solid but my hope is that with the way that I'm mixing the paint you're going to have a few different contrasts going on on this image. Then one of my favorite things to do is take a text stamp and stamp through and stamp off. I should maybe use one that has slightly bigger holes for this but you will be able to see it in areas because it is picking up the paint and that's just another texture and layer you can add to your surface. So now you have a dual colored image so you have that first original 
bit of blue paint down plus color on top. And then I'm just trying to lay this as flat as I can so it doesn't get too many bubbles. And with a lot of the tissue paper techniques like this, I would suggest don't skimp on your paint. Usually with jelly prints, you can usually go a little bit lighter with your paint when you're using regular paper. But I would say for this technique, make sure that you do put a fair amount of paint on the surface just because you don't want the tissue paper sticking too badly to the surface and tearing. There you go. So that one's gonna be pretty solid. But if you want something a little bit more solid in your art journal or on any of your creative projects, this is a really great way of going about it. If you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, if you could boop that like button, that's a really great way of being able to support this channel. This helps me be able to share this video with more people. And if you want to use some of the colored tissue, well, let's get into that a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of the super cheap tissue for this. I find that it just tends to tear a bit more. I'm going to add my text stamp through again. Now we're going to go in with the blue tissue paper. And because I do have a fair amount of paint on there, and that's part of the reason I didn't use a stencil or anything else with this, I want to have as much paint on the surface as possible to hopefully protect this. And you just have to be very careful when you're smoothing it out. Don't smooth it too hard. Just be very, very gentle with it because it's a lot less strong than some of my archival tissue paper. You just have to be a lot more careful when you're using it. But you can manage a print with it. You just have to be a little bit more careful. And you can see that there's some areas where the blue has come through. And this is where if you can manage to do it with the stencil without tearing it, it can also be really nice to have a little bit of that blue peeking through on some of your projects. And actually the second print of that even came out cooler than the first and maybe that's where I should have used the blue was on the second print and not the first. I do actually want to show you a really good example of the blue on the tissue paper. So I'm going to add a stencil to my surface, add a little bit more paint and give this another go. So yeah, that would make a really cool print in a journal because now you have that little bit of blue that will constantly stay there with that dark paint color. One of the things I love about tissue paper is the fact that it can be folded. So I'm adding a little bit to the top and I'm folding it. And this is a fun way of adding just a different look to your tissue paper. And you could probably do this in advance. I, I didn't really think this through. I just could have put it down. But by having little pieces that are pre-folded, you could lay them across the surface. Just end up with something a little bit different. And if you have extra spaces, you can always just crumple up some tissue paper, add to the surface just to take up some of that paint. And then by pulling that off, it's an easy way of getting some crinkliness on your paper. And now when you pull this one, now you have areas of color so that when you put that down as a collage item, you can either take the strips or you can leave those spaces in between and that can make for another really interesting variation on your collaging. So I hope this has given you lots of ideas on how you can use tissue paper with your gel plate. And if you've enjoyed this video, if you could like, subscribe, and just hit that notification button so you don't miss on any future videos. And if you have any questions or comments or would like to talk with me a little bit about this technique, please leave a comment below. I would love to start a conversation with you. And if you're looking for any of the colors that I use in this jelly plate process, or you're looking for your own gel plate, I do have the full supply list below. It does include affiliate links, but that is one way that you can support this channel at no additional cost to yourself. And if you'd like to learn more about different ways you can alter tissue paper, click here. This is one of my most popular videos where I go into several different ways you can alter tissue paper for your creative projects. So I hope you have a really great week, that you take some time for some personal self-care, and I will see you next time.